Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're back into the honeybees. What we're doing today is we're going to set up a bee pollen trap and try to get some bee pollen from our honeybees. Okay, now first, what is bee pollen? Bee pollen is actually the pollen that they collect from the flowers. Okay, some of it gets redistributed back onto the flower and, and you know, that's what fertilizes the flower and allows it to produce a seed. But not all of it is needed by the flower to, to do this. Some of it, the bees bring back with them. Okay, and they actually bring it back with, with, with them because they do eat it, just like they eat the honey. Okay, which means we can eat it too. Now, why would we want to eat bee pollen? Bee pollen is considered by many folks to be one of the most complete foods for the human diet. It contains almost everything the human needs to sustain itself, okay? Um, it, it's, it's something that a lot of people maybe ought to start considering, including actually into their diets, especially with the, today's day and age with people consuming vast amounts of processed foods, stuff you get, you get at the grocery store and such like that. Um, it, it'll help balance out your nutritional needs against the, the food that you're consuming. Now, the next thing we need to look at is how do we collect the bee pollen, okay? This thing, this is my bee pollen trap, okay? If you look in here, I'll show you up close here. If you look in here, there's really small wire right in here, okay? The bees have to crawl through this wire, and whenever they crawl through this wire, it, it causes the pollen to fall off their legs. And then the pollen falls down through this wire down here, okay? And then we collect it out of the drawer in the bottom. Now, let's get suited up. We'll take this over to one of our stronger hives, and we'll set this thing up. And then we'll come back, and we'll check on it and see how much pollen the bees have brought to us. All right, now we've chosen one of our stronger hives to do this with because I know this hive has collected enough pollen right now to, uh, to sustain itself through the winter. Okay, but we're not going to keep taking pollen from this hive all the rest of the summer, we'll switch this around between the hives so that we're not really straining any of the, any particular hive. Now all we do with this little box here is we take and we just set it right over our opening like that. You can see, you might be able to see here, we still got a gap up here at the opening. We want to try to encourage them all to go through the wire, okay? And it was, that way they can force the pollen to come down through the door. So, like I said, we're gonna leave this on for about 24 hours, and we'll come back and check it here in about 24 hours. All right, well, here we are. We're getting ready to check our pollen trap finally. See how it's made out for us. We're just gonna slide our, our drawer out. Oh right, yeah, we're getting a good little collection down in there. You can see the, all the different colors of pollen sitting down in there. We have had a little bit of rain, which is unfortunate because it can hurt our pollen, but we're going to slide that back in there, trap a little bit more pollen. That way we can store that up for later. Now, like we talked about, pollen is a superfood. It's great for everything, but it also works to save it and feed it to your bees in the middle of winter whenever your pollen isn't so readily available. And uh, most likely that's what's going to happen with our pollen is we'll just save it up for the winter time when the bees really, really need it. Uh, just... Another one of them things we're just kind of covering for you with the honeybee topic. Uh, you know, you can buy pollen, honeybee pollen capsules at your local health food store, and they're really good for you. Um, so maybe if you get the chance, go out and check them out. Give it a try. It might actually improve your health. Until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees.